<laughs> okay, um, like I said, uh, this year we're gonna do a lot of different things, and this is one of those things that I wanna do. Um, uh, it's basically about just movies and about creativity, because that's basically where I live. Now, I have a plan for this, and I actually wanna do this with a couple of friends of mine who have shown interest in what I do. I do not know why. But yeah, uh, they kind of <laughs> like what I do, so uh, they would like to be on it with me. So this is like a taste because yeah, there are a couple of things that need to happen so that I can be able to do this with a couple of people. But since we do not have that as of now, that doesn't mean it's going to stop me from starting. Now, the basic gist of this stuff is we are going to look at a movie or look at a song or look at anything and just analyze the shit out of it okay <laughs> so today we are starting with uh, uh a movie and okay just so you know there are gonna be a lot of spoilers on this video so i'm gonna try and do some backdated movies so that uh, at least most of you have watched them before you end up watching this video now today we are starting with honesty uh, Honest Thief came out last year, but it was pushed to this year because of Corona, blah, blah, blah. All that said and done. So Honest Thief stars William. Is it William or Liam? Oh, Liam Neeson. Yeah, that badass from Hollywood. Yeah, it stars Liam Neeson. And what I... Okay, the movie is fantastic. Uh, let's just set that out there because I do not want people saying, oh, you don't understand, blah, blah, blah. These are movies. These are guys who are put in work. I get all that, man. I get all that. But there are some of these things that just don't make sense, okay? They, they, they just don't quantify, okay? So the for those who haven't watched this movie, the basic premise of this movie is that Liam Neeson was a thief and he stole a bunch of money uh, in his past and now he's met this woman and he doesn't feel like lying to her about where he got his money <clears throat> right there as in does that stuff make sense to you as a if this this, this guy had about nine million dollars as a nine million dollars give or take this is about 0.9 trillion if my math is not wrong this is 0.9 trillion Kenya shillings and he wants to give it all back to the government, okay? He, he, he wants to turn himself in <laughs> because of a woman, okay? Um, no offense, but sin, if, if put me in that situation, because basically that's what movies are. You're supposed to uh, envision yourself in that situation. So. Here I am with nine million dollars and I feel bad. <laughs> can't, can't even get through this with a straight face. I feel bad because uh, this is stolen money and since I want to be honest with you, I want to tell you where this money came from, but I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid that you are not going to like me anymore because I stole nine million dollars <laughs> right off the bat right off the bat thoughts okay that is a telltale sign of a non royal or die bitch because I didn't hurt anybody okay if I killed some people yeah you could decide to base your your opinions on uh, morals and stuff but I didn't kill anybody uh, this is just money that I found yeah, because it was it was just sitting there in a vault and I found it. Basically, I liberated it. Just like the way the way they say Christopher Columbus discovered the Americas. The Americas were always there. There were actually Native Americans living there. But oh, sorry. This white boy from Europe came on his ship and found this land and went like, "Hey, the Americas." No, man. <laughs> So yeah, I just went to the bank and I was like, hey, the money, okay? <laughs> so, if you cannot help me spend $9 million without feeling guilty, then maybe that's a sign that me and you just ain't gonna work, okay? <laughs> 
maybe you know it's like one of those things that uh, we, we keep reading about called red flags as in when you see certain red flags you're supposed to uh leave you're not supposed to try and fix them you're not supposed to try to change them so if you cannot help me okay <laughs> pay attention to the words i'm using if you cannot help me spend nine million dollars okay um then maybe me and you are just not meant to be okay as in no hard feelings, but it just me and you are not meant to be. So, the premise or the takeaway from this subject matter is that pick your people wisely because um, it's not just about uh, who you are as a person, it's about your past. And uh, nine times out of ten, I'm going to pick my nine million dollars. I'm just saying that.